Today we're going to talk about the hinges in your hardware library and how to set them up, how to adjust them, how to set them and whatnot. Uh, so from the main menu you want to go to your library menu then you want to go down to your hardware library and you go to your hinges tab. Under the hinges tab nine times out of ten you're just going to select bloom hinges or headage hinges. There are, uh, are a lot of presets in here um, but you may want to adjust these settings here. So here you can see this is where you set your cost for your hinges, your markup for your hinges, and this includes the plate and the hinge. So make sure you include both when you're pricing it out. Uh, and then an add-on, which could be uh, if say a, a cost for drilling the hinges or you know something like that. Uh, then if you got a comment, you can add a little comment here. Say this is for 45 degree hinge or something like that. You can type that in there. Uh, then it, this here is where you set up your location. So everything references from the door face, uh, which is the way you want it to be. So uh, usually you'd want to set this up in millimeters. It's a little bit easier to set up, especially bloom hinges in millimeters. So I'll usually flip it to millimeters. Uh, we set our, hin our hinges at 36. The standard is 37, but we kind of like it to be outset a little bit because we have door bumpers that go on. So we wanted a 16th of an inch sticking out. So uh, 36 mil from the edge here, that's what this one sets. Uh, this is setting the location from the edge of the door to the first hole and then to the second hole. Uh, so in this case, you may have to do a little bit of math here because uh, our standard location for our hinges is four inches. So what I want this to be is, let's just do the math here. We got four inches uh, times 25.4 to convert to millimeters. I have it at 101.6 and you want to minus. So our hinge plates are 32 millimeters apart. So you want to minus half of that. So 16. 85.6 that's how we got this number here uh, so that way it's in line with your your actual hinge I'm not sure why they don't locate off the center but whatever you just gotta do a little bit of math to figure that out once you get that number in there you don't have to think about it again uh, this is where you set your depth you we have it at 12.7 or half an inch diameter 5 millimeters which is most common and then your 32 millimeters the spacing you have there uh, so that covers the case drilling. So that all your case drilling is going to follow this. Oh, sorry, this number here is where it's going to jump to having a third hole. It won't jump to having four holes. You have to do that manually, but we can show you how to do that too. Um, but this number is where it'll jump to having a center hinge. Now, if you want to set your, you click this little box here, if you want to set your uh, cup drilling on the actual door, so you open this menu and it comes up with this box, uh, menu box here. So you have your distance between these two holes. That's how you set that there. Again, it's a lot easier in millimeters because Blum and Hedditch, they all go by millimeters. Uh, this is the distance from this hole to here. And this is a 35 millimeter diameter hole. We have our depth of 13 millimeters. These drill, uh, the depth of these two holes, uh, 13 millimeters, eight millimeter diameter hole. Uh, ours our setting is six millimeters because we use three millimeter plates. So uh, you have to do a little bit of math there to figure that one out. And then again, here is four inches for us, or you can do the math here, or you can just flip it to this so that you get the four inches. As you can see, if you have it, if you're trying to set this in inches, it's a lot trickier to set up. You know, all these numbers are, have a lot of decimal points. Whereas if you just set it in millimeters and then save and close again, you'd never think about it again. So it's nice in that fact. So that's how you do that. You can add new, add a new one. I don't see why you'd have to do that. Usually, you just set up a, you know, pick a bloom hinge, boom, done, and then you set this to how you want it. Uh, if you have a tall cabinet, let's just drop in a tall cabinet here. Okay, so I have a tall cabinet, and I want to clear it and turn these into a pair. Those are pretty big doors. So we definitely need three hinges on this one. We actually need a lot more than three hinges, but 
we're going to go here and we're going to make a bunch of shelves. You know, this is maybe not realistic for what you're planning to do, but what you have to do if you want to add more hinges to this, let's just check it in the perspective view. So you have a hinge here. You got a hinge right here. You have a hinge uh, right on the bottom on, and the top. So imagine you probably want more than three hinges on a big tall door like this. So on this face, you go in the face tab, you select the face, you select adjust right here. Here you can delete hinges. You can have it with a lot of no hinges on the door. You can adjust the top hinge and the bottom hinge here. You can override the number of hinges here. So here you have two hinges. I want let's do something like five hinges. So we're going to click OK and we're going to view it again. And as you can see, we have five hinges here. Now, because we're using a series of holes instead of line boring the whole thing, uh, we're getting a little bit of interference. We usually like to, let's just put it on the left side. Usually we like to have our holes in the location where there's no shelf. So if you want to do that, you go to adjust and you can leave this window open, which is convenient. You can go to the mid hinges and adjust the mid hinges. Uh, I believe, I'm not really sure which hinge is which here. So we're going to go, uh, three inches. That must be the bottom one. So let's try this one. Three inches. Click OK. OK, so one of these two went the wrong way. This one went the right way, as you can see. And let's try that again. So adjust mid hinges. And let's turn this one negative. Click OK. Click OK. Okay, we did it the opposite way, so we just need to go adjust, mid hinges, change this one to minus three, change this one to plus three. It appears that it's going bottom to top, so whole, uh, hinge one is down here, two, three, and then four is the top one. Click OK. Now our hinges are, you can see the location is now in line with the opening. So that's a nice way to move your hinges around if you want to try and avoid a shelf. And that's pretty much it for hinges. Thanks. Take care.